So Amazon has a lot of cheap Android tablets. I've looked at quite a few of them on this channel and they all seem to come in this same packaging. A white box that says tablet PC on top and they come with a case and also a Bluetooth keyboard and they also come with a mouse. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn this tablet into a laptop or more like a desktop PC. And if you want to pick up this tablet I used in this video, the link will be in the description. So we'll put the tablet into the case that it comes with and we'll also go ahead and just set it up. We'll get the Bluetooth keyboard uh, on the case as well. And we'll also get the Bluetooth keyboard working. We'll just go ahead and connect it with Bluetooth. And these tablets are running Android. So you have a lot of features and you also have a pretty much up-to-date device. And so these tablets can do quite a lot. So the first thing to do is download Taskbar from the Google Play Store. This is an amazing piece of software. Essentially, this turns the user interface into a more like desktop interface. So it works a lot like a laptop running a desktop operating system rather than this touch based Android system. Uh, now, you will still be running Android. So if you do want to use the touch screen, by all means, you can. And the performance on these cheaper tablets is a little bit lower than something that would cost a lot more. So just keep that in mind. But you do get a lot of accessories with these tablets and they do make it easy to get set up and set a base and a start off for a further upgrade down the line. After that has been installed, go into the developer options and after you find those, we go all the way down and this is running Android 11. So you should be able to use this on, uh, as far as I know, almost all of the Android tablets in this day and age. And so you go right at the bottom and you enable free inform windows. Now this will allow applications to open up windows in windowed mode. And that's what taskbar does. So next up, we need to go into taskbar and we need to enable this. You'll find it in the application drawer. Go ahead and enable taskbar and then it will ask you for permissions. Now whenever it does ask you for permissions, go ahead and allow the permissions. Now when you open up taskbar settings, which is the application, uh, we need to go into freeform mode and we need to enable that and that will allow the applications to open up in Windows. Now another feature that I love to use on a taskbar is under advanced features uh, and you just have the top box over here which is replace home screen, we'll go ahead and tick that. And then when you go into the Android settings, if you go into the default applications, you can see that you can you have now an option to use taskbar as the home screen. And so we're just going to use that as the default. And when we go to the home screen, you'll notice that it's empty, but it looks more like a desktop. And that's essentially what taskbar does. It turns the whole thing into a desktop. And so you can have icons on this, but I don't use icons. The taskbar is right at the bottom. And from here on, you can go ahead and customize it. You can change some settings here and there. And so you can go ahead and set this up the way you want. I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox. And you can see that it is in a windowed mode. You can resize it, put it into a corner, and then go ahead and um, open up some other applications. Some applications you might have to close in order to open them up again to use in desktop mode. And you can see we can have a lot of applications in multi-window mode. And this allows for really, really good multitasking. And it also feels like a desktop. So typing an email on this setup here is pretty nice. It's much better than using the touchscreen keyboard. And it gives you an overall desktop experience. Now you have a tiny little desktop. You can get a much better keyboard later on. You can get a different mouse. You can even get a different tablet later on. And you can do upgrades. So uh, if you guys have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in another video.